Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how y'all doing? Hope everyone is doing good. Doing well, doing well. Today, um, I have, uh, today, just to know, just know today, I'm probably going to be coming to you with a series of of messages, uh, short uh, short messages, but they are they are direct messages. And, and the purpose of these direct messages is to, the Bible says that God has uh, 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 given the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, given given the gift uh, a gift to the body for the protecting for the for perfecting of the saints, that we might come into the unity of the faith. And so, so. So basically, basically why I'm here, why I'm here is to point out certain things, to work on, to point out certain things um, that God, can, that can be a blessing, that can be a blessing that where you can highlight um, certain things um, that, that you'll be able to see because the Bible says that God has not made us ignorant concerning and Satan devices. And so what I'm doing is uh, by, by, by the inspiration of God, as God's mouthpiece, as a prophet, all I'm doing is highlighting and getting you to see things and get you to see the enemy and, and what he does and how he, he moves, uh, wherein you be aware, where you get the victory, where God get the victory, God be glorified. And so, and the, that's the purpose. And so the thing that we need to understand about the God and enemy, God unifies the enemy, the adversary he divides. God unifies, but the enemy, he divides. John 10 and 10 says that uh, the thief comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy. But God said, the Bible said, God said, but I come that you might have life. and But not just life, but life abundantly. And so um, what I want to speak to you in, if you saw my, 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 um, uh, my, my topic, saw my topic, it's about anger. Do not allow anger to become your blindness. Do not cause anger being upset. That moment, that overwhelming feeling where you feel strong, where you feel fueled, where you feel like you can do something, you can, you're the strongest. It's like a drug. It's like being on, it's probably like being on steroids sometimes. You get angry. And so, but that's what I'm talking about, that anger. See, God, the Bible says, be angry. Nothing wrong with being angry because there's passion in anger. There's passion. And, and to be honest, there are certain things that people won't do. We won't do until, unless we're angry. Because when you get to that point where, where it gets in your chest, then you're ready to do something. And so, and so, and I know many of you, you're about to ready to do something. And see, but God says, ain't nothing wrong with being angry, anger, angry, but don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Just think about it. Just think about it. if you anger, if you anger, if you angry, and then once the sun go down, then what that means is darkness. When the sun goes down, that means there's coming darkness because sun represents light. The sun represents Jesus. The sun represents the Holy Ghost. It represents the, the connection, your connection. But when the sun goes down on your wrath, then that's some trouble. And so then that's when. You're gonna act out, and that's when you're gonna do certain things. And see, and, and see, anger, anger is it is see, anger is not an emotion. I know you didn't know that, somebody didn't know that. But anger is not an emotion. Anger is energy. Anger comes from somewhere. It comes from somewhere. And oftentimes anger comes from where there, there has been some type of uh hurt some type of betrayal, something that was painful that did not receive closure. You didn't get closure. And so all of those unanswered, all those unanswered questions, all those things that you didn't understand, all those things that you didn't closure on that you couldn't figure out or you couldn't, you know, wrap your mind around, all that stuff has been talking to you. All that stuff has been making you more and more infuriated. And just like I talked about that overwhelming feeling of anger, don't let that sun go down because it stems from, it stems from anger, it stems from hurt, rejection. So, so, so what God wants you to do, my brother, my sister, is to not allow the voices, the influence of anger. 
Because anger can become a drug, an addictive drug where a person just addicted to being angry all the time, addicted to being mad, addicted to wanting to do something. That's not good. That's not good. Let's be wise. We, we got to be wise. You know, let's be. We got to be. We got to be because if we're going to reflect Christ because then our anger becomes our weakness. Because we're emotional about everything. How can you, how can you, how can you think logical when you're emotional? How can you think logical when you're upset? You cannot. You, you cannot. The, the, the emotions is going to do all the talking. It's out of control. You can't control something that's out of control. You can't control the scenario that's out of control. You have to let it, and it takes time. It takes time. Wrong with building today. Stop trying to rush things. That's one of the biggest problems. See, because, see, as people, we like, we like people to do things when we want them to do it. And when they don't do it, we want them to do it, then they get upset. Then we get upset, and we don't, want to, we don't want to deal with them. But the truth of the matter is, they are not us. They are called an individual. That means someone who has their own mind, has their own way of thinking, has their own feelings. And so uh, the, the thing that we must do, we must respect another person's feelings. Respect. Another person's opinion. Because just like you got an opinion, they got one too. And and, and that make your opinion right because you got one. Because just like you got one, they got one too. The truth of the matter is just like behinds. Everybody got one. Opinion. But God tells us not to be wise in our own conceits, meaning opinions. Because there's a way that seems right unto man. There's a way that look right. It looks perfect. And it's going to look good. But the end of it is going to pull the, pull the rug out. Up under, up under your, uh, under your eyes, just like the some of them games that you play. Some of them games it'll get you where the top is. You get some money, right? But you get all the way down to the end when you get close to that money. Then when you, when you're making all that money, then you get one penny, two penny, and see it's all a hustle. It's just to get you to play. And so while you're playing, it's trying, it's getting all your cookies anyway. It's trying to get your cookies and find out stuff about you. Oh, there, there's always a, there's always a game within a game, a game within a game. <laughs> sure, baby. But anyway, I'll be back. But um, uh, don't let don't don't let that anger blind you. It will, it will. <laughs>